Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another video. In today's episode we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're gonna have a closer look into the Pi cycle indicator and also what happened in 2013 because it really looks like that we are some kind of uh, copy what we did in uh, 2013 and that's why let's go back into the past and analyze analyze what happened also in 2013 after the Pi cycle indicator flashed exactly like we also had this this time here at around 60k so we're gonna analyze that and then of course uh, we also gonna have a look into ethereum and then also into the dxy and nasdaq as usual and uh, before we start make sure that you claim over on bybit your one thousand dollars in bonus if you want to trade bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage then Bybit is the best exchange to do that. If you still need an account over on Bybit or you want to claim these $1,000 in bonus, then use the links that you find down below here to first register and open up a new account, then put the deposit and then you can claim your bonus up to $1,000 with the link down below here like this you can claim this so make sure that you take it as soon as possible because this promotion is uh, not forever and uh, the other big shout out of course is going out to bitscap because they are offering to our community a free pro plan of 14 days for their trading bots on this platform you can easily just connect your existing exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, Kraken and so on and let this bot run on your exchange like this you can do also some passive money because the bot is very profitable no matter where the price is going. So definitely take advantage because if in these 14 days it's paying out for you then you can upgrade to a monthly plan it's starting only by $19 so definitely go and take Take this nice trading bot you can try it out completely for free for 14 days with the link down below here in the description so now my friends let's start here first with the Bitcoin in the lower time frame like here the four hour because as you can see in the last couple of hours we had a breakout to the downside from this symmetrical triangle so what we are doing now is a measurement from this triangle and the potential breakout target where we could be heading to next because since we now are breaking out to the downside and it looks like that we are also confirming this new resistance here at $55,000 the likelihood of seeing here a big fall down towards the target of around $48,000 is very high and this 48 to 49k is a very important price level and I'm gonna show you why that is with the Pi cycle indicator and also what happened in 2013. So the potential target is here at around $48,000. So if we are taking out this low that we created here at $51,500 then this breakout is confirmed and we are going down towards 48 to 49k and this is where I'm expecting a bounce to the upside and the potential clear bottom to then get a nice breather up towards 62k to potentially retest this new resistance that we have up here. So even though we are breaking out here to the downside and it is very likely that we're coming down to $49,000, I still think that before we maybe get a bigger correction than that, we are going up here to retest this new potential resistance here to also close the CME gap that is still opened up here at $62,000. And then we're gonna see if we are in for a bigger correction which can take us down towards the 20 weekly or 200 daily moving average or if this was the bottom and afterwards we are gearing up for a big move to the upside which will take us towards new all time highs. So the scenario that we are coming down to 49k my opinion is very likely but if we are able to maintain this low here of $51,500 then we could be maybe forming here a potential falling wedge which is a very bullish pattern and also here if we're going to see a breakout to the upside this would take us towards our potential new resistance here at around $62,000 and like that of course test this new resistance and close the CME gap before maybe we are rolling over back into a downtrend and then continue to head lower. 
So that would be another scenario that could happen here if we are not falling down right now towards 49k. So if we are able to maintain this low here of $51,500 and create this falling wedge here, I think it's very likely that here we're going to see a big pump to the upside towards 62k and then we're going to have to see what will happen up here. And why I still think that such a move is still in the cards, even though we're starting to look bearish and we have some big warning signs, especially in the daily time frame, is because right now the Bitcoin dominance is still falling and I'm expecting a bounce latest here at 50%. So if here in the Bitcoin dominance, we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside, I think a lot of money from the altcoins, which right now are still pumping, is gonna float back into Bitcoin and that could bring the price up towards 62K. And as you can see, although Ethereum is now very close to our price target of $2,500, so I told you my friends that Ethereum is looking extremely bullish and here we should expect this price target to be reached here very soon and Bitcoin has to catch up with Ethereum. Otherwise, this is looking really concerning because in 2017, we had a similar situation where at the end of the bull market of 2017, Ethereum started to pump like crazy after Bitcoin already topped out and afterwards we entered into a big bear market. So Bitcoin has right now to catch up with the price action of Ethereum and also have to come up here towards the old all time high of 65K and potentially also create new all time highs, especially if Ethereum is also able to take out this all time high here of $2,550 because otherwise we could repeat something like at the end of 2017, where at the end all the altcoins were mooning and then at the end, once Bitcoin started the real crash, all the altcoins also came back down. And remember, when Bitcoin is dropping a lot, usually the altcoins drops even more. So that's why my friends, make sure that you have some good positions, especially if you have a lot of money in some altcoins that you have stop losses or take profits into Bitcoin or into some stable coins. Because if Bitcoin is failing here to have a big bounce to the upside and continue to crash lower, we could see a really big bloodbath in the altcoin space. So that's why if you are overexposed into some altcoins, make sure that you're ready also for the worst case scenario that everything can come back down, especially if here Bitcoin is not able to recover and gonna continue to crash lower. So this potential bearish target here for Bitcoin at around $49,000 is also coinciding with the 100 daily moving average here in the daily time frame. So as you can see, we are very close to this moving average and also for the worst case scenario, we're gonna have to keep an eye on here on the 200 daily moving average, which currently is at $34,000. And now let's open up the Pi Cycle indicator because as you can see, it flashed here at around the $60,000. So for now, this indicator is legit because for now it signaled the local top, at least for now. I don't think that this is a cycle top. I still think that Bitcoin will go towards way higher levels, but at least we could maybe copy something like we did also in 2013, where we had two tops during a bull market. And that could be the first one here before entering into a prolonged correction and then gear up towards our real cycle top, which in my opinion will be way above $100,000. So what we are seeing right now is of course this correction after this pie cycle top flashed. And as you can see, we are right now very close to the 100 daily moving average here at $49,000, which is also coinciding with the breakout target from the symmetrical triangle that we had here in the lower time frames. So now let's go back in the past and let's have a look what happened in 2013 after the first local top that flashed. So here you can see the chart in 2013 when we had these two tops here and also this indicator signaled that perfectly. Of course, this indicator was made after these cycle tops and was created in order to match those tops. That doesn't mean that it shouldn't work also for this time. In my opinion, it's very likely that it's going to work out also for now and also for the future because all indicators are always made after price action. So there are no indicators that can predict the future. All indicators 
were made with data from the past and that's why I think this indicator could be very useful for now and also for the future to predict potential tops during a bull market. And here in 2013 you can see that we had a similar thing like this time we had a cycle top flash right here at $140 similar like we had now at 60k and then we continued our run up here towards $250 and also this time we went from 60k up to $65,000 before then we had a major dump and here in 2013 you can see that we came back down to the 100 daily moving average so exactly where we are more or less right now we had then a couple of bounces here we even had a nice run up again towards the same levels where the signal was flashing so if we would copy something like that now again this would also first take us down towards the 100 daily moving average so towards 49k then we could have a big run up towards $60,000 to $62,000 and then start a prolonged sideways movement, maybe even correct back down towards the 200 daily moving average before then we gear up for the big parabolic move towards our real cycle top of this bull market. So if we're gonna repeat something similar, then the theory that first we're coming down to 49K, then have a big bounce up towards $62,000, and then maybe have a huge correction down towards the 200 daily moving average, is in my opinion quite legit, because so far we have a very similar price action like we had here at this top in 2013, and then afterwards we gear up for a big move towards our real parabolic top towards the end of the year. So if we're gonna repeat something similar, in my opinion we first now gonna see 49k and then potentially go and retest the 60 to 62 thousand dollars and then if we are not able to recover and build up a support above 60k then we could maybe see continuation to the downside to correct down towards the 20 weekly moving average or in the worst case even down again towards the 200 daily moving average at $34,000 where the 200 daily moving average is right now at the time of recording. So let me know in the comment section, my friends, what do you think? Are we gonna repeat something similar like we did in 2013? Or are we about to crash straight down towards the 200 daily moving average at 34K before then we gear up for another big move to the upside? In my opinion, the likelihood that we're gonna repeat something like in 2013, that first we're coming down to test the 100 daily moving average here at 49K and then potentially have a bounce to retest this $62,000 is very likely and also based on the indicators and charts there is a very high chance that we could repeat something similar like we did with the first top in 2013. So the good news here is that we potentially gonna have another retest of $60,000 but it really looks like that this could be really a local top for now and we should be prepared to see more corrections or at least some more sideways movements here in the next coming weeks and months before we're gonna continue these parabolic moves like we have seen since 2020 because not only we have the pi cycle indicator which is calling a local top here and also for the first time we are breaking down below important supports and even below the 50 daily moving average but it's also because we are in a similar situation like in 2017 when bitcoin topped out and we have seen a lot of those altcoins pumping like crazy and outperforming bitcoin so we are in a very similar condition like in 2017 and that's why i think the likelihood that this could be a local top for now is very high so if you have completely no cash on the sideline my friends then think about maybe to take a little bit of profits out just to be ready for maybe a prolonged correction phase where we might have the chance to buy bitcoin a little bit cheaper between 30 to 40k to then gear up towards completely new levels to the upside so what i am personally going to do is i'm gonna keep up my 10k long position here over on bybit in case that we are going to completely new levels right now without any kind of corrections but if we are coming up here to retest the 62k area and we are getting rejected this is the time then where i will take a little bit of profits out to be ready for a prolonged correction phase where then i can accumulate again more bitcoin at a cheaper price 
and if we are not seeing a bigger correction and we're just going to continue to moon then i will be doing fine with my long position here on bybit this is at least how i'm going to trade these next coming days because i think that we're still far away from a cycle top even though we could be in a local top here but we are definitely still far away from a cycle top for this bull market so and now let's have a look also into the DXY because the DXY is again testing the 100 daily moving average. Yesterday we have seen a nice bounce from it and right now we are coming back down to test this moving average. I think if we're going to lose this important moving average here for the DXY we're going to go straight down towards $90 and that of course could be very much in favor for the crypto space and then we could see in Bitcoin this pump towards $62,000 that we are expecting but if the DXY successfully is bouncing now from the 100 daily moving average and is coming up here to retest the 200 daily moving average that of course could lead into that correction down towards $49,000 in the Bitcoin price. So the DXY is not out of the woods yet. We had yesterday a little breather but it looks like that we are pushing again to the downside and this is really the last resort before here we're gonna see another big waterfall down at least towards $90 and here later this i'm expecting then a bounce to the upside because we're gonna go up to retest the 200 daily moving average for sure here in the not so distant future and if we're gonna have a look into nasdaq you can see that also nasdaq thanks to this drop that we had in the dxy pumped back up towards the nine daily moving average and also here if we are able to create higher highs I think this will be very bullish also for the crypto market and maybe we will not see right now a bigger correction in the Bitcoin price but we will head towards higher levels and that's why I'm also still keeping up my long position here on Bybit because the stock market especially Nasdaq is still looking extremely bullish and if Nasdaq is able to create new all-time highs I'm pretty confident that also in the crypto market especially for Bitcoin we also gonna see some big fireworks to the upside coming up pretty soon. So with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel I do daily TA videos and don't forget to sign up to Bybit and get your $1,000 in bonus so you can do some free trades over there with that money. All the links are down below here in the description. And of course, also take and try this BitScap trading bot 14 days completely for free. The link is also down below here in the description. And a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on Discord. If you want to join our Discord community, you can click on this link and then you go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then you can send me here a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the indicator. Otherwise, you can also just get a YouTube membership and then contact me over on Discord like this. You also have free access to the live stream indicator over on Discord. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.